Hey, what's going on, PTSD buddies? I've been encouraging people to do videos and do vlogs, so I thought I would just do a vlog of myself. No better way to encourage people than to lead by example, I guess. So, me? Let me see. How do I start? Well, I did get a, a text on my cell phone, my private cell phone, from a member of PTSD buddies telling me that because I use marijuana, and and because I have helped people get a marijuana prescription, uh, they're appalled at me and uh, they're sickened by me and I should step down as the the PTSD buddies uh, admin. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, if that member is watching, um, eat shit. Um, I don't care what you think. Um, I've never pushed any prescription, any kind of medication to anybody but being uh, the PTSD buddies I'm in I have been asked a lot of questions about marijuana so I went out and got educated on it took a course on it actually and uh, a course that was actually a paid course and got educated on it so I could answer questions truthfully I don't push anything on anybody so to whoever that member is you can eat shit alright uh, what else you can probably hear that I'm coughing a bit I did one of my biggest triggers this week. I went to a kid's birthday party. And uh, that's a hard one for me because just kids running around crying, screaming, whatever, it's tough for me. Plus balloons are a trigger for me. Uh, it's not that I'm scared of balloons, I'm scared of them going, uh, I'm scared of them going bang and popping and stuff, right? I don't like the popping noises. It freaks me out, all right? So I went two and a half hours, I'm drinking coffee, sorry. At a kid's birthday party where I was triggered, it was tough for me, right? Um, other than that, we got a we got a uh, donation. You probably seen a YouTube video. We got a donation of a thousand dollars. You know what? Before I go into that, back to this topic of um, kids' birthday party. The reason why I got a tickle in my throat is because at the kids' birthday party, there was a kid with a cold and another kid with a cold, and another kid with a throat infection. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to sound rude or nothing, but if if your kid is sick, don't bring him to a fucking birthday party to get everyone else sick. Because now I got a cold, my two kids are home from school. Right now, today. Right? But as soon as I got there, I, sh I seen this kid run by and did one of those <clears throat> like coughs that you know the kid is not clearing his throat. He has something. Well, I found out. He has a throat infection, right? <clears throat> so thank you to the parents who brought your sick kids to the birthday party. Yeah, I understand. You don't want your kid to mess out. Well, now lots of kids are messing out on school because you got them sick. Bravo. But anyway, <laughs> we got a $1,000 donation. So today I'm going to Costco and Best Buy to talk to the managers to see if they cut me some kind of deal on a television because... Um, you probably seen by my other videos, we have a room in the Legion Branch 56 where members from PTSD Buddies go and hang out and have done puzzles and they got board games and read and and we do group support meetings there almost every Sunday. But one thing is missing from our room is a television. So with the money that was donated, I was going to go and try to buy a television and a wall mount to go onto the TV. Uh, the members at the last meeting all decided and voted on it, and we all think that a TV would be really good in the Legion, or in our room. Especially since the Legion has free Wi-Fi for us and has uh, let us use their cable. So a TV would be great. It would make it even better in our little hangout. So that is the job today. I'm going to go and go around and try to find a good prices and... Um, I always keep in contact with the members who come to the meeting, so I don't go out and just buy the TV without their permission, right? I'm, I keep them all informed on everything. So we'll go out and see if we can get the best price for our money, and hopefully sometime this week, if not today, we'll have a new TV in our little PTSD buddy's room. Uh, if we do get the TV up today, I will definitely do a video and show everybody exactly our new TV. It's going to be exciting. Uh, we're even going to be at the Legion tonight because uh, over at the Legion, <coughs> or, <coughs> over at the Legion on Tuesdays, <coughs> I got to try coffee again. Over at the Legion on Tuesdays, they have uh, bingo on the go and they have Chase the Ace and they have uh, a Dart League. So um, 
the members of PTSD Buddies who come to uh, my meetings, they're interested, like me, in having a part, being a part of the Chase the Ace, because it's up to over, th oh, sorry, it's up to over $7,000. So, I mean, uh, every, who wouldn't want to have $7,000, right? So the members are interested in going to uh, Chase the Ace, but they weren't interested in being around a big crowd like anyone with PTSD would. So um, by opening the PTSD Buddy doors uh, at the Legion uh, tonight, members are about to come in and hang out in a little private PTSD room and still be a part of Chase the Ace without having to be around another crowd. We did it last week uh, and it was great. So hopefully we can get that TV in there tonight to make the, the room even that much better. Maybe we can have a movie night. Um, what else can I talk about? This Sunday, uh, the PTSD Buddies are planning, uh, instead of having a group support meeting, members are going to get to come in and bring their kids with them. Uh, they're learning, even if they're not kids, they're nephews, whatever. Just bring some kids and uh, you don't have to bring kids. Bring a friend, bring whatever. But what we're doing is uh, we're going to have a cookie decorating. Uh, we got some Christmas cookie kits and gingerbread houses donated by the Legion to allow members to bring in their kids and decorate some cookies together, right? So we can all gather together, have some cookies and uh, some hot chocolate and talk maybe a little bit about PTSD with our kids, right? Uh, we did it last year and it was a lot of fun. The kids had a lot of fun and so did the members. It was a great way to connect with our kids and talk some PTSD and everybody went home with a bunch of Christmas cookies. So it was a lot of fun. So this is our second year doing it and it's this Sunday down at Legion, right? So if you're in St. John's area, drop down. Uh, but that's all I got to talk about on my vlog and uh, I'll, I'll leave this up and later I'll put it on YouTube. But that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen, doing the vlog. Uh, I think the whole time I talked, I only had one viewer. <clears throat> uh, I've seen people do videos where they, uh, they wait for viewers to come on. I don't. I just start talking. Because I know eventually someone's going to get online and see this video. And I don't want them to just be sitting there watching me sitting here waiting for viewers. I'm just going to start talking. All right? So, uh, anyway, that's my vlog. That's all what I got going on today. Uh, wish me luck at Costco because Costco is a trigger for me. It's hard going into Costco. I, I don't know what it is, man. It's always packed. That Maybe that's what it is. It's always packed. But... Yeah, I will do my best to go in there, talk to the manager, and get a deal on a TV. It's myself, my wife, and another PTSD buddy, Rosie, is going with me. So, we're going to go hunting for the TV. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk more soon. Cheers, everybody, and do vlog like me. It's fun.